Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given exponential equation. And here's the very first step. We are going to divide each and every term by 4 power x. Let's go ahead and divide across the board. All right, that's the very first step. So this is going to give us 1 plus n as far as this is concerned we are going to use this fact over here and we can write this one as 6 over 4 power x equals to likewise we're going to be using this fact right up here we can write 9 over 4 power x and now we can write 1 plus 6 over 4 could be reduced to 3 over 2 power x equals to and the right hand side this part I have just copied it down over here and let's go ahead and manipulate this one a little bit as we can see 9 over 4 9 could be written as 3 power 2 and 4 could be written as 2 power 2 power x this part over here could be written as 3 over 2 then power 2 and then power x and again if we use the rules of exponent that could be written as 3 over 2 power 2x isn't it and that could also be written as 3 over 2 power x and then power 2 and this is what we are looking at it and this is what I am going to copy it down over here I can write 3 over 2 and then power x and then whole power 2 now let's look at this part 3 over 2 power x and over here 3 over 2 power x I am going to let u equal to 3 over 2 power x then this our equation is going to become 1 plus u equal to u square and this is our quadratic equation let's move everything on one side to put in a standard form so this could be written as u square minus u minus 1 equal to 0 and now we are going to use this quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation and here we can see that our a is 1 b is negative 1 and c is negative 1 as well and here is our quadratic formula let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so u is going to be equal to minus and b is negative 1 plus or minus uh, b in our case is negative 1 square minus 4 times a is 1 c is negative 1 everything is divided by 2 times 1 Let's simplify furthermore that is going to give us negative and negative become positive 1 plus or minus inside this radical we are going to get 1 plus 4 divided by 2 and simply we are going to get u equals to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2 and now we are going to have two values of u let's go back to our u equal to 3 over 2 power x and we can see that this quantity is going to be positive value okay so this is going to be positive value that that means u is going to be positive so that means we are only going to pick the positive value of u that is going to be u equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 
to we are going to ignore this negative sign so this is our value of u and we know that the value of u is uh, this one let's go ahead and substitute this one back to over here and as we are running out of space on the left hand side let's move on to the right hand side we can write this part over here as 3 over 2 power x equals to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Now since we want to solve for x let's go ahead and take a log on both sides. That's the strategy we are going to apply and now we are going to use this logarithmic power rule and according to that rule this exponent can be moved to the front over here so we can write this one as x times log of 3 divided by 2 equals to log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. And since we want to solve for x, let's divide both sides by log of 3 over 2 on this side and divide by log of 3 over 2 on this side as well. So these cancel out. So we ended up with uh, x equal to, let's put it down this thing, log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and then divided by log of 3 over 2. And now we are going to use this logarithmic quotient rule right up here. Log of a over b equals to log of a minus log of b. In our case, this is going to be our a. This is going to be our b. Likewise, this is going to be our a. This is going to be our b. So we can write this one as x equal to on the top is going to be log of 1 plus square root of 5 minus log of 2 divided by log of 3 minus log of 2. And if we use a calculator, we can get these logarithmic values of these constants. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So x is going to be equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 is going to be right up here is approximately equal to 0 0.51 minus log of 2 is 0. 3 divided by log of 3 in our case is approximately equal to 0 0.477 minus log of 2 is 0 0.3 if we simplify our x value is going to be approximately equal to 1.3 186 and here is our solution thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye